You can never have enough ninjas. Taking a look at Masters of the Universe Origins Ninja today. This is the other Origins figure that I have been so excited to pick up ever since the line was initially announced. Uh, the He-Man is fine. The Man-at-Arms is cool. I haven't picked him up, but don't plan on picking him up. Uh, a lot of the other figures, if I've got the vintage version of it, um, I'm I'm good. I, I prefer having the vintage one. But some of the vintage figures are just next to impossible to find. Like this guy right here, Scare Glow, in the, uh, in the distance. And I just love how these Origins figures blend in so perfectly with the vintage guys. Can't even tell that's not, well, I can't tell that uh, it's not a vintage Scare Glow. I guess I'm lucky that way. And uh, Ninjor is uh, another one that is really high in value with the vintage Masters of the Universe figures. Not quite as much as Scareglow, but he is up there. He's really jumped up in recent years. Saw so him at a convention a couple years ago for something like 50 bucks. And uh, I guess I should have picked him up back then. I thought, well, 50 is... Now this is a few years ago. 50, I, I, I was a little too high for me to be uh, paying for a vintage Masters of the Universe figure. But now that his uh, price has gone up even more, it, it's a deal now. But uh, here's the artwork on the back of uh, Ninjor's packaging. A look at his weapons and some of his articulation, actually telling you how to twist into battle poses. And this is the other one that I wanted to get two of, one to keep mint on card and one to open so that I can hang the uh, carded one up on a wall with my uh, commemorative He-Man figures and Super 7 origin style figures. You can't beat the price at Big Bad Toy Store. It's sixteen dollars, uh, fifteen ninety nine to be exact, and it might currently be sold out at uh, BBTS. Um, they have stock that comes in and out, uh, in and out of stock often there. Sometimes they'll see something sold out or a pre order sold out, and then a couple of days later it's back on pre order there. So keep checking. You uh, you might find it. In the meantime, there's plenty of other Origins figures there. And $16 is just a lot of bang for your buck. Much more bang for your buck with one of these figures than with one of the uh, Transformers reaction figures that I've been taking a look at here recently as well. Scareglow and Ninjor, never saw them here in stores. I definitely wanted to go with BBTS uh, to pick those up. So that's a look at the outer packaging and I'm uh, going to crack them open and show you the figure right now. And that is so cool being able to open these as well. I mean, that's part of the um, the retro experience, retro play and, and retro opening as well. I certainly never opened these like this back in the day. I just tore them right off, but I like to keep the packaging for now at least. So there's Ninjori's scared <laughs> in the packaging. Um, Thank goodness these are designed so that their limbs will pop off to avoid breakage. Maybe if every action figure was designed like that, just to have the limbs um, pop in and pop out. Uh, you know, I'm still a little, when I give something a good tug and it doesn't go, I, I'm still a little nervous about trying to, to force it. The arms seem to come out really easy on these guys, but I don't have much luck with... Uh, with the legs and I've broken so many of these on other figures G.I. Joe and some other figures I don't really want to mess with the wrists too much either but let me go find that arm and he comes with a bag of goodies also a mini comic sneak attack so cool just like with Scareglow cool to see a little mini comic involving Ninjor I highly highly recommend if you haven't checked it out already there's a collection of the He-Man comic strips all collected into a big hardcover. It's amazing, and there's a great story with Ninjor in it. And it's written by the folks who worked on the Filmation show. So it feels very continuation of Filmation. A little comic with Ninjor and a bag of goodies. Looks like he's got his, uh, his bow, a sword. I don't have an original Ninjor like most people don't, but... Uh, I'll show some pictures to compare how this one looks. Um, 
with the original one. There's a better look at the the bow. Oh, that's cool. The arrow is molded right, right in there. Nice, big, hefty piece. Uh, there's a sword too. Not too floppy. A lot of Mattel um, accessories, especially vintage ones, just way too floppy and they're like permanently warped. Um, sorry about my voice. It, I feel like it's going on me, so I'll try to wrap this up fast. Um, but this one is nice and sturdy. Good uh, material on it. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Nunchucks. Oh, that's awesome. So they went all out with his uh, accessories and the outfit. So the original one, I do know that the original Ninja has a cloth outfit. Uh, they went with a plastic on this one. And um, I'm fine with that. It, it looks awesome. It's got the same type of... Check this out. The, uh, the texture that Scareglow's cape had. That's so cool. So even though it's plastic, they're making efforts to make plastic cloth-like. So there's advantages to both. And uh, I appreciate the advantages of plastic. I try to just kind of focus on what's good about it instead of, um, you know, being disappointed and whining about what it doesn't have. So it, on the back here, he does have a sheath for his sword. And... That's always nice when a figure can store weapons that they're not using. There's also a little tiny loop on the back there. Looks like you can put one of the nunchaku in there. But, well, I guess that'll work. You could feed it all the way through like that. It works. It works. I was thinking, like Michelangelo, right? Where's the other one? Shouldn't there be two? But that's fine. I mean... It's better than nothing. It's better than no uh, nunchuck thing. And then I'm guessing, is there, oh, you that's awesome. Uh, they included this little thing. This reminds me of Brave Star's rifle. It has a little peg, a little tiny uh, peg like this, similar, that plugs into the back of Brave Star's vest. And so you can just pop that in there. Oh, that's so cool. So awesome. Wow, I wasn't expecting that. So now you have all sorts of options. Sometimes um, the sheath on the back or the hole is meant for one weapon, so it's perpetually one weapon being displayed while the others are stored. But um, all sorts of options with this one. Same problem with all Origins figures, especially uh, worse with figures that have like vests or armor like this that reduces their range even more and this does look like it's removable I can't tell is it it's kind of a floppier plastic it's not uh, like a really rigid sturdy plastic that'll snap on you you could still tear it but I think it's not quite as dangerous as that like uh, battle armor macho man at arms um, you're going to want to pop the head off, and these come off so easily to get the armor off. Man, that's a cool look, too. This is such a cool figure. <laughs> I just wanted to jump right into the uh, like the accessories and the articulation and stuff, and I'm, I'm kind of uh, uh, you know glossing over how awesome this figure looks. He is a, He's like any other Origins figure. He's reusing a lot of parts from a lot of figures. Those are Skeletor feet down there and uh, standard he-man or skeletor waist chest and everything but just all in black with the dark red the head is great the masked head the original one has uh you can take the mask off uh unwrap it but man that looks so cool even the whole point of taking this off i want to show you even with taking that off there is not enough range for him to double hand a sword so that's fine so we just pop the armor back on here. Let's see if it's just as easy to put back in as it was to take off. Yeah, that's not bad. Flip it over on the other side, and that one's a little tighter. Whoops. Got to do a little bit of uh, shifting. Probably easier to take all the weapons off on the back. 
just to you see how I've got a gap there now and there's no well there is a gap on the other side okay I don't know how uh, I, don't, I don't I don't think there's a way to really seal that gap that's just how it's gonna sit on him let's take a look and see how the nunchucks work hoping that he has enough range to at least double hand the nunchucks and it's it's close yeah he can awesome not much range but if you if you do want to have him holding both nunchucks uh, handles and then you can take that pop it in there and then I mean I guess you can get creative with the the sword um, I think I'm not sure if you can fit it in the hole there it's probably not there's not enough clearance in the hole but if you pop that in first then it's really not that big a deal to just stick the sword in like that so you can store your sword and your your bow back there and uh, I'm really interested to see how he can hold his this is so cool it's really awesome to be able to put those away because so many of the, the vintage figures didn't have that you know Triclops I think had one but even He-Man didn't really have that he had to just stick it in the back of his his battle harness how do you hold this now I'm assuming it's like this hand goes like that and is that an eyepiece there looks like but because there's no range he can't hold this part the the part that you pull back so basically all you can do is pop it back like that man it's especially cool doing these lunging poses with ninja because i mean he's all about those stealthy ninja poses and then uh i think we'll have the sword in the other hand um there you go cool very very cool along with scary low definitely one of the coolest masters of the universe origins figures it's so satisfying to be able to pick this guy up for 16 bucks and brand new too mint on card awesome joints awesome paint i'll give you a closer look at his uh face here no issues whatsoever no wonky eyes or bad eyebrow paint job the uh the paint on the symbol on his chest is fantastic. I am I'm so impressed with this figure. It's been a long time that I've been uh, trying to get him. And plastic finds a way. Sometimes it's not exactly the way you imagined. It's not a vintage ninja, but for me personally, it's better. I uh, If I can't have the original one, if I've never been able to track it down and I have the choice, um, and that's a tough choice because these Origins figures really are awesome. So like I said, I don't have the Vintage Ninja, but I do have the Classics version. So I'm going to bring them out and compare them. And here's the Classics version. A little bit bigger, a little bit more detailed. And he also came with an extra head. So this is what the Vintage Ninja looked like with uh, unmasked head. And they've included that if you want it. But... Uh, Totally different style. This one also came with a sword and nunchucks, and he's got a little uh, bow on the back there, a little quiver, quiver of arrows. Same style of uh, symbol on the front, except on um, the Origins, it's painted on, and on this one, it's sculpted on. I, I really like this one. Honestly, if I had the choice, if, if I was asked if you could only have one of these two, I'd go with this one. He's, uh, he's one of my favorite Origins figures so far. And I've often said I feel like the Origins figures are better than the Vintage figures. Now, sometimes you get a lot of nostalgia for an old figure, like original He-Man or Adam or Tila, Ram Man. So it, it's kind of tough. Like, you love your originals despite their shortcomings. Um, since I never had a Ninja, I don't have that nostalgia. And... This one is so much better because he can do those those ninja poses. His his elbows bend and he can... Oh, that is so awesome. 
That's so cool. Like uh, the nunchuck pose I showed you earlier, we can hold both of them. And just this slight, as limited as it might be, the slight amount of articulation just makes this guy better than the vintage and injure. Absolutely. Vintage and injure thing it has going for it is it's vintage. It's an original. It's worth a lot of money. It's part of the original line. But, uh, you know, this one looks just like it and can do a little bit more. But it's still true. So true to the original that it doesn't feel like, well, like that guy. So that's a really awesome ninja. And I want to give thanks to some other awesome ninjas. The Patreon ninjas. <coughs> and thanks to everyone who's joined the Patreon tribe. Much appreciated. And also to everyone who's hit join on the channel. Thanks so much. Uh, is there a ninja emoji? Well, if there isn't, there's going to need to be someday. Leave a ninja thought in the comments spot and join the tribe. Slice, subscribe. Nerdmaste. Okay, Patreon appreciation time. I want to give a warm welcome to our two newest members, Casey and Jeremy. Thanks so much for joining the Patreon tribe, good brothers. And a shout out to the aforementioned Patreon ninjas. Bill, Tom, Sage Rider, Hubert, Marcus, Vince, Drew, Chris, Derek, Anthony, Terrence, Matt, Jason, Cognito, Eric, and Scott. Thanks so much for your generous support. Keep the ninja chat going in the comments. Who's your favorite ninja? Is it the Black Dragon from Rambo? Is it Storm Shadow? Even Thundercats had a ninja. Share your thought in the comments spot, and until next time, stay stealthy.